earlier this month I had the opportunity to go and visit beautiful knitters in London and I thought I'd bring you along with me, starting here at London Paddington. It was then just a short tube journey over to Victoria and I was getting closer to one of my favourite yarn shops. When you hop off the train, you walk through Pimlico, a beautiful area in London filled with cafes, parks and just generally a really lovely area to walk around. The front of the shop is so enticing and you come in to just a world full of colour. Look at this. It's beautifully laid out so there's no kind of sense of overwhelm but you've got brands like Retrosarios, you've got some knitting for Olive which I'm about to show you and the wool there. Oh, I just find this so inspirational. Look at all those colours. You've got Fonti and then you've got a whole wall full of hand dyed skeins which I just love. So the layout's really, really clear and simple. Here I'm showing you some Rawak, a little bit of shake of the camera there, and had a look at some Zakami. Love Zakami yarns, it's such a good opportunity to see them in person, as well as some Bilaxtons, and I believe they also stock some camel yarns alongside Black Elephant and some European bases. And all the while you're looking, Karen and the team are super helpful. They want you to come in and just take your time find the perfect yarn for your project and they're very happy to give advice and tips on what you're knitting. You can also take the opportunity to pick up a couple of notions if you need anything. I was very, very taken with the Stephen and Penelope new needle holders and notions pouches. They had several different designs for these needle holders and I was so, so enamoured with them. Very sorely tempted. Uh, these are brand new into the shop so if you are in the market for a needles case these might be for you. And as I say, have a look at the different models they've got, or the kind of different styles, I guess you could say. But the canvas and the quality of the leather is just beautiful. And these sit alongside other brands of project bags, notions, and knitting notebooks. Oh, so much choice. I then headed for a walk back towards Paddington. Instead of getting the tube, I walked through Green Park and Hyde Park, fully in blossom, which was stunning. Again, a kind of really good area to be in if you are new to London or are not in the city that often. The shop's located in such a good place to then go and see other things. And I couldn't help but admire my beautiful knitter's tote bag on my way back via the train station. A quick bit of knitting on the tube and then I was going to be home and I'm done with a very relaxing knitting shopping day. Hi guys, good morning. It is Thursday morning. The, I've just got back from the trip to London. I am sitting with a cup of tea and I just thought I'd show you what I picked up at Beautiful Knitters. So first and foremost, we've got a new favourite tote bag guys. She's showing it really expertly. It has got beautiful knitters on the front. Perfect, love it. So, what did I pick up? I went with the objective of picking up some yarn for a new design that I'm working on. Um, I had previously bought some other yarn for this, which I will use in another design, but unfortunately wasn't quite the right one for this particular design that I have in mind. So I wanted to purchase yarn for that. I didn't have anything in stash. And then I also knew that I wanted to pick up some sock yarn and some sock needles, um, and then, I thought I might buy a skein if there was something that I hadn't seen before. I kind of had in mind that I might pick up a skein. So, I have picked up, well, first on the list, I picked up a pair of Higher Higher Sharps 25 um 22cm circulars. I haven't really used Higher Higher Sharps before, so this will be interesting. I picked these up for £9 at Beauty Fundances. They've got a really good range of sizes, um, lots and lots and lots of the 2.25mm, which is obviously such a popular um, needle size. So yeah, really excited because I've been knitting so many socks, as you guys will know if you follow my podcast. It's my new thing this year, never thought I'd say that. But yeah, I've been knitting so many socks and it'd be really nice to be able to do two socks at a time on little circulars, which is my preference. So yeah, happy with those. I also picked up some sock yarn, but also a new to me brand of sock yarn, so that was exciting. I picked up Hurt Garn 
um, aloe sock wool. Now I have used Hurt Garns, um, they've got like a trio base that's got like wool, cotton and silk. They've also got a wool cotton blend, I've used both of those. I've never used their sock base. This feels gorgeous. This is the colour 434. And let me give you some more details. It is 75% wool, 25% polyamide, 100 grams is 420 meters. Um, yeah. It's treated with aloe vera, which is why it's called their aloe base. I wonder what the aloe treatment does to it. I'd be really intrigued. So I will do some research as to why they treat it with aloe and what the impact is. But yeah, it's beautifully soft. And I think I'm going to use it. I've got. I was, I've knit my massive sock tube in my Dragon Hill Yarn Studio self-striping and a um, bit of a spoiler alert if you can watch my next po podcast episode but basically um, I'll explain in detail why but I have a little bit left over so I'm going to use that as cuffs on then some plain great socks so really really excited to have picked that up and if I like it then maybe I'll have to do a giveaway with some of that um, and then the yarn that I was purchasing for this new design, I kind of knew some of the properties that I wanted the yarn to have but I had not decided on the brand or anything like that. I really wanted to kind of enjoy looking at what they had in Beautiful Knitters and decide when I was there. Um, but I ended up making what could be seen as a relatively predictable choice actually. I've gone for some knitting for Olive and I've gone for their pure silk base in the colourway Olive. I think this is stunning. I have not used their pure silk base before. Um, I really love these olivey green tones. I mean, look at the colour of my living room. <laughs> I love these olivey green tones. Um, and I actually bought a third ball and I've already swatched and cast on the design. Um, so yeah, I didn't film that on the train as I say, but um, just some stats on this in case you are interested. This is 250 meters per 50 grams. Uh, it says it will give you about a 28 stitch gauge. And, it's 100% barrette silk. There we go. As I said, this is colourway olive. So I picked up three of those. Um, and then I have picked up, I'm going to be picking up one other skein, but I need to go back to the shop. But I hope you enjoyed this slightly more like vlog style version of a yarn shop tour and coming with me to London. I will catch you guys very, very soon. Okay. Cheers guys, thanks for coming along with me. Bye.